Tony, it's been a while since we last talked. Um, been some varying performances from the team. If we look back at the most recent one, tale of two halves again. Oh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think both teams were a little bit uh, rusty uh, after having a week off. Um, you know, if I'm truthful, but uh, I think that was a bit in you know, across the league last last week. I, I, I don't think anybody was a, were really at their top form. Uh, straight away, and that that often happens after a, a break in the competition. But uh, you know, I, I thought uh, as the game wore, um, went on, even in the the first half, I thought we we started to take some control and play better as as it went on. But you know, we were, we were pretty good um, against a, a team that's been high up in the top eight, and uh, to put you know uh, forty points on them and and not concede any points in the second half, uh, yeah. Not a bad performance in, uh, on the whole, I think. Good to see Michael Monaghan back after three months. Yeah, yeah, great to have him back. Uh, you know, I thought he played well and uh, he was he was good for his first first game back. Um, yeah, we you know we've missed him to some degree because he's a he's a terrific player, but I think we've coped well too. You know, with we've, we've had quite a number of our um, prominent players out at different stages this year, and we've coped pretty well. So it's been good for us. Um, not having some of those players and, and having to deal with that and cope with that and um, you know we've done all right at it too um, but yeah nice to have him back and um, you know a few others are you know uh, getting a, uh, getting back onto the playing field as well so that gives us more depth as well. You, mi- you were missing some of your elder statesmen last week. What's their fitness condition? Yeah, um, Mozer will be back. Uh, he's playing uh, Friday night, so he'll, he'll be fine. Um, Hodjo uh, probably could play on Friday night, but uh, we, we'll leave him for the Exiles, and he'll play Exiles, uh, and then back with us after that. Um, uh, Benny Westwood uh, was missing from last week, and uh, he, he had a hernia operation a couple of weeks ago, which uh, kept him out of the internationals, but... Uh, was hopeful that he might play this weekend, but just a little bit soon for him, so we won't take any chances. He'll play against Catalan uh, the week afterwards. Um, Dave Solomono back uh, from injury and, and Richard Myler back from injury, so uh, they're both in the fray for Friday night. So, um, yeah, it's good that we're getting some personnel back. You've got some of your older players who've got the contracts up for review at the end of this season. How are the negotiations coming along? Yeah, good. I think um, you know we're we're working our way through those, and um, you know the players are you know doing their best and working hard for for contracts, and that's a, a good position to be in. And, you know, if we can keep them all, that'll be great. If we can't, well, you know that's that's part of sport as well. But uh, you know, we'll we'll come out with those sort of announcements when things are done and dusted uh, as as we um, you know, work through them. How difficult it is. Is it to review a situation when you've got the likes of David Solomon who's been out all season injured? Yeah, well, he, you know, obviously Dave wouldn't want to be assessed yet um, in terms of, uh, you know, what he's been able to produce. So, uh, you know, that's why it takes some time to to finalise these things and work them through. And, uh, you know, Dave will want to get it, have a chance to get out on the field and show us what he can do again and um, show us that he can get back into the form that he has been in. He, in you know, he's a special player. He does some things that... Nobody else within the game of rugby league, you know, does. So uh, he'll be looking for that sort of form as soon as possible, and you know that's that's good. That's good for Dave, and it's good for the club that he's, you know, he'll be out there working his hardest for a contract and, uh, you know, for for his future. One of the shining lights of the whole game was one of the youngsters coming through, Gaz O'Brien. He seems to be a, a superb goal kicker. Yeah, great one for the future. Oh, he's a great one for the present. You know, he's he's doing a great job. You know, he's been terrific in uh, on a number of weeks now on end, and um, you know, which I'm pleased for him. Uh, he had a few shots last year and was, showed uh, what he could do last year, but you know, uh, then went and got himself injured and it upset his season. And you know, it was disappointing for Gaz, but uh, he's picked up from where he left off last year and he's he's done a great job for us. Is he picking up any goal kicking tips from Brett? Uh, he practices a lot. Um, I don't know. You know, they they probably compare notes a little bit. I mean, we've got a kicking coach that um, Colin Stevens that works with the boys as well, and uh, you know, he adds tips here and there. But it's you know, uh, I think most goal kickers will tell you, or any kicker will tell you, it's about practice and putting in the time. And when he does that, he you know, he comes out with the results on the field. Now you've got a big uh, Challenge Cup semi-final looming on the horizon. 
a lot of the players have had a taste of success at Wembley. How difficult is it to keep them focused on the bread and butter league games when you've got a big game coming up like that? Uh, not hard at all. Um, it's easy. Um, <laughs> you know, they know they need to be informed to get picked uh, for any any games ahead. So, um, you know, that's a great motivator for them. And uh, you know, we understand the importance of of games ahead, but you know, we also understand the importance of games at hand. And uh, you know, if you're not in good form and you don't play well at the moment, well, you don't get selected down the track. So there's no point, you know, worrying about what's down the track. It's more about focusing on what, what you can control, and that's the way you play at the moment. So, you know, they're, they're out there. Um, and that's the good thing about having some boys back from injury as well. It gives them a chance to get out there and show what they can do and, and play into some form, such as... Dave Solomon, you mentioned, uh, he needs to get out there and play some rugby league, and you know that gives him a chance, possibly, of of, of being a starter, you know, in a few weeks' time. But uh, you know, uh, had he not got on the field for this week, it would have been difficult to, to even consider him in a few weeks' time, you know, without getting a couple of runs under his belt. So, you know, it's important that we were able to give some players some game time. And unfortunately, you know, the twenties aren't playing at the moment, and unfortunately, we've been in a period of uh, the nine series which hasn't been great for development of players for Super League or getting them you know fit and healthy so but there's some of the the restrictions that we're under and some of the wisdom above that you know throw the challenges to us clubs to you know prepare our players by playing nines competition. Away from Warrington (coughs) the situation at Bradford Bulls uh, very sad news coming out of uh, Bradford at the moment What, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it is sad. It's uh, you know a great club like that with such great history. It's you know, it's just, it is a shame, and it's a shame for the state of our game, and that we have clubs in that situation. So yeah, I'm, I'm like everybody else, disappointed for for uh, their situation and for the league itself. And uh, yeah, it's there's not a whole lot that can be said. It just reminds us on how important it is to run a good business. Uh, both, you know, uh, in terms of having a great league, so we look after all our components, and uh, but also in terms of running your your club successfully, both on and off the field, and that how important it is. Uh, it's a it's a good reminder for all of us. With all this due diligence that takes place to get your Super League license, how do you think the situations happen? Oh well, well you know, I'm, I don't know the ins and outs of it, Gary. Um, you know, there's wiser and smarter people in positions uh, a lot more important than mine uh, that you know monitor those sort of things or should be and you know um, I'm not sure uh, but uh, I know it's tough times financially for for everybody at the moment you know we're right across you know the economic um, climate it's not it's not easy and uh, you know so uh, I'd say you know, there's shortcuts being taken in certain areas by some people and you know eventually it catches up and uh, yeah um, but uh, why, as I said wiser people are, are pro- um, you know, probably looking at the reasons why and the circumstances and hopefully we can learn from it and you know it won't happen to many more uh, within our, our sport. Warrington have actually been linked with someone at the Bradford Bulls is there any developments on that front? No, I, I wouldn't think. Um, we get linked with everybody that's uh, available. Um, you know, I think we've uh, got a history of whoever, um, whatever players may be leaving their club, uh, Warrington or, are always after them. Um, I think it's a good ploy by uh, managers at times to bump prices up and all those sort of things. So, no, uh, there's no uh, nothing on the horizon in that in in, in that concern. Okay, Tony, as always, thank you for your time. My pleasure.